<clears throat> Hello Leo, what is going on? I hope you are super well. My name is Madame Butterfly and this is going to be a Who's Coming Towards You reading for November. But also Leo, it's timeless so you know, whenever you happen to get it is when you are supposed to get it. You are so welcome here. Leo, um, thank you so much for taking the time to check out the reading, you know. I really appreciate it. And um, if you find the reading resonates with you, Leo, don't forget to like and subscribe for me. You know, if you feel like doing that, of course, Leo. Just gonna do one more. Okay. So, <clears throat> spirit. Who is coming towards <clears throat> Leo, please? Who is coming towards lovely Leo? Okay. You have the Four of Swords. <clears throat> you have the Wheel of Fortune. So it looks like some of you guys have been in separation from this person. This person has been waiting for the right time. Seven of Wands. This person might have had to fight for something recently. Ten of Pentacles. And the Knight of Swords. So this person's coming in fast, looking for commitment with Helio, with the Knight of Swords here. Um, headed towards the Ten of Pentacles. So you might have been waiting for this person for a while, but they're going to kind of show up out of nowhere, I think. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, with the Four of Swords here, let's clarify actually, let's clarify. Right, there's definitely someone coming towards you looking for commitment here, and they're coming in fast. Um, expect a conversation with the Ace of Swords. They really have a lot they want to say to you. They have a very specific conversation they want to have with you. Um, King of Cups here, you could be dealing with a water sign. So this would be um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Sorry, I always want to say them. I always want to say Cancer, Pisces. Scorpio for some reason. Um, it could be a water sign, it could be a doctor or a healer in some way, you know, a nurse or a spiritual healer, it could be an artist. Um, King of Cups can also indicate someone who works for a charity. King of Cups though is very virtuous. It's weird, I was actually thinking um, yesterday, I was like, the King of Cups hardly ever comes out in the readings. He hasn't been out in any of the readings so far. Um, because it's all been, anyway, blah blah blah, <laughs> blah 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 Leo, um, yeah, the King of Cups energy, this is someone very virtuous, this is a very good person you're dealing with, very kind, very polite, um, you know, very gentle, very generous, very open and honest, very loving, the King of Cups has a huge capacity for love, you know, huge capacity for love, you might find this person's kind of squishy. Um, they have a big heart, really big heart, but the King of Cups sometimes, um, you know, they don't really express it on the outside, you know, because maybe this person's kind of burned a little bit in the past, you know, very much like the energy of the, the Queen of Cups, um, but very sensitive as well. You might find that this person is quite psychic or quite uh, intuitive or quite empathic or something like this. But they definitely, they're coming towards you fast with commitment on their mind. That's two. Look, basically exactly the same here. You have 
coming towards you fast for commitment, coming towards you fast for commitment. Um, the Ten of Pentacles and then the Four of Wands often indicate a housing situation. So they might want you to move in with them fast. Or this could talk about commitment. It can also talk about basically this person is looking for like the one they want to be with. I mean, if not forever, then a really long time. <laughs> you know, like a, a long time. You know, they're thinking they see forever with you. You know, you have the Six of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So this person is looking for peace. They basically just want to sail off into the sunset with you. Okay, let's see here. Clarify this top row, please. Uh, the Knight of Swords, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Yeah, okay. Wow. Oh, okay. No, it's good. It's in a good way. It's just literally this person's coming in really fast, okay? They're waiting for the right time. There's something about this person's been waiting for the right time. But like once they've decided to, that it's the right time, it's going to be like, there they are. <laughs> like really very involved in your life or trying to be. Um, also for some of you, this might be someone you've not met yet. You know what I mean? They're a good saver. This person has been saving up. Oh, they've been waiting for the right time. Nine of Swords, God bless them. Right, Nine of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So this person's had, they're a warrior, okay? Whether they've had something specific to worry about or whether they're just generally, they just worry. Um, I'm not sure, but the Nine of Swords is like, you know, they've been stressing out about this connection for some reason, you know? Or they've been stressing that they couldn't get to you. Um, because there has been some element of waiting here. You have the Four of Swords here with the Three of Swords. So this person has been kind of in engaging in some R&R, &R, you know, rest and relaxation, um, because they've been healing from something with the Three of Swords. That's healing from like a heartbreak. Um, it's like a, an emotional release, you know? That's th This is the reason um, there's been a, a, a delay here for this person. This is really interesting. This is what I was like, oh. <laughs> you have the fate card, the Wheel of Fortune, the Fortune card with um, the Tower. So they've been waiting for the right time. I see three cards here of this person waiting for the right time. Um, because they see this as like a fated connection. It is fated. And when it happens, it's going to happen very fast. I also see I see a number of cards here that suggest this person is going to take you a little by surprise when they do finally turn up. Um, things are going to change. It's going to be sudden. <laughs> There's going to be like a sudden movement forward in this situation. It's going to be like one day they're there, one day they're one day they're not there, one day they're there. Things are going to start moving very very quickly. With the tower, a lot of things are going to change very quickly in the Wheel of Fortune. So, you know, if you're currently waiting for this person, take your time at the moment and rest. You know, because usually the tower, when it's that heavy change, I mean, it's not the death card, so I assume you've kind of already... You, You've kind of already undergone your transition phase here, but there will be a huge shift, you know, and that kind of thing takes energy. So just relax, you know, if you can at the moment here. Um, they've been waiting for the right time. Knight of Swords here, clarified by the Seven of Pentacles. Whether this has been to do with their money, because I do see something about money here, and I'm sure that's come up in your readings before. It's either you or Libra. I think it's you guys. This keeps coming up for this person about the money here because the Seven of Pentacles is waiting. 
you know, it's waiting for, it could be a number of things. First thing that leaps to mind is money. Like maybe this person, I don't know, they could have a business they've been waiting to take off. Maybe they've been waiting to sell a house so they can get the money from that. Maybe they've been, I don't know, there's something to do with like waiting for money. Waiting for money that they know is coming, right? Um, this could even be saving up money, you know? It's like they wanted to move in quick, but they couldn't because of whatever the Seven of Pentacles was. But as soon as that's done, like they're gonna be coming in, I, I, you know? Because the Wheel of Fortune is all about the, the right time, you know? And you have this Ten of Pentacles here with the Four of Pentacles. So this person is good at saving money. <laughs> um, you know, they've been, I think they've been very focused on saving money and it could be because they wanna buy a house. Now, I'm not saying that this person's going to buy you a house, uh, although that could very well be it. You know, it could be, maybe they were between houses or something, or maybe they were like renting and they wanted to be able to buy a house or something, but they've been, even if it's not to do with a house, this person's been saving up money and they've been very, very focused on it. This person's very, very focused. They're very focused on you actually Leo they see this future with you and they've been like low-key <laughs> kind of behind the scenes planning this all out I think you don't know anything about this um page of cups again here um sorry page of cups again I, I mean like it usually indicates something's gonna come a little bit out of the blue you know, this page of cups here is um, usually a message that comes a little out of the blue and it can be to do, it's, it's often about feelings, you know, it's often like a very emotionally charged message that you're getting or it's going to lead to a conversation about emotions. They're a little off, they've been a little off balance with the Seven of Wands for some reason. Why is that Seven of Wands there? They've been wanting to go, oh. They've been wanting to come in and express this emotions with the Page of Cups here. But um, yeah, again, with the Seven of Wands, there's been something about waiting for the right time. Like, there might have been a lot of people telling them, trying to tell them what to do or something, trying to tell them, you know, they might have a lot of people, you know, getting all up in their shit, basically, you know, for some reason and this person has had to defend their actions to people in their life hold on a second they're nervous about, about saying this to you like they have a lot of emotions here that they really want to express but they're like nervous about telling you And you have this um, Seven of Cups at the bottom of the deck here. See, they, they kind of think this is like maybe a little too good to be true here. This person's definitely, I would say they've been burned in the past, you know. So they've they've been trying to gear themselves up with the Seven of Wands here. Like they've been trying to gear themselves up to have this conversation with you. Um, because they have been burned in the past, you know. Yeah. You could be dealing with a Virgo. They've been making a decision here to reach out. They've, yeah, they've been making a decision. Look at this, all the decision cards. They've, you're dealing with someone very emotional, but they keep it, not emotional like insane, not like single white female, but like emotional, like, you know, they're very, they have a lot of feelings. I don't think it comes out a lot for this person, like, you know, during the day. 
you know, I think if you kind of met this person, you were talking to them, and you didn't kind of have intuition, you wouldn't be like, oh, this person's hella emotional, you know what I mean? But I think probably you know this person, like you can see right through them, but yeah, the Seven of Cups here, they've been, because they've been burned in the past, I think here, they've been kind of in hermit mode. Like I said, you could be dealing with a Virgo, but you, they've kind of been in hermit mode about what to, to do here. They've been thinking a lot. They've been thinking and healing, judgment, they've been making a decision about whether or not they should reach out to you. And look, two more decision cards here. The Justice and the Two of um, Pentacles. So they've been trying to decide whether they should reach out and tell you these things. When this person comes in, I think... They're not going to be defensive. You know, it's not going to be like they bite your head off. That's not that kind of defensive. It's just, I think it will take some time for this person to open up to you. They might find that they they blurt things out to you. They don't, okay, hold on, this is what I'm getting. They don't really want to open up to you, but they feel like they can't help it because there's a certain draw to you. <laughs> so like, you might find this person tries hard not to open up to you when you first start chatting or you start dating, but I think it's going to come regardless <laughs> because I think they can't help it. I think they're going to be surprised with how much this they reveal to you without really meaning to. I think this person is going to blurt a lot out to you. They might come in to you with a lot of questions. That might be how they approach this. <laughs> um, like, because you have a lot of fast moving energy here, so they might come in kind of, you know, fast in that sense. They're going to try and remain in control, but they're not going to be able to. <laughs> okay, that's what I'm getting. And they're going to come out of nowhere. They've been planning this, Leo. They've been planning this. And I think, not that they're devious, but I think they want to catch you off guard a little bit. I think they want to surprise you. Oh, that's a weird one to come out. You have good cook, but awesome. Because I don't know about you, but I <laughs> I struggle with that. Um, so yeah, that would be an awesome quality. Right, what else? You have hard worker, very hard worker, very good at saving money, very sensible, very hard worker. Kind, yeah, that's very much the energy of the King of Cups. What else about Leo's person, please? Page of Cups here, you can deal with the Pisces. Oh, very affectionate. This is also the energy of the Page of Cups. You know, it's a very, I feel like at their, I would say this person has some water in their chart somewhere, even if it's just their midheaven or something. But, you know, you have the King of Cups and the Page of Cups. They're very sweet at their core, but I think they try and hide it. Not, not, not in a crazy way, but like, I don't know, maybe they're from a background that where that, like, overly, being overly emotional was not appreciated or something like that. So, like, they have all this, like, inner squishiness, but they don't really usually let it out, you know. Very playful energy, Page of Cups, very innocent, very sweet. It's like puppy love. I think this person, like, they're crushing on you really hard, just like... There's a lot of daydreaming that goes on here. Caring. This person's lovely. You have kind, affectionate, caring, hard worker, good cook. Let's see if I can get this one off the floor. Protective. Awesome energy to have as well. Very protective. See, I think they want to take care of you. Like with this kind of ten of pentacles. I think for a lot of you, this person could want to be a provider. You know? Um, you have saucy here. I would, like provide for you, look after you, you know, take it as it resonates for you. 
saucy. Interesting. You have a straight shooter. So they're going to be very honest with you. This is the kind of person that's just going to just going to say stuff to you, Leo. They're just going to say things to you. Loving. Oh my god, this person's adorable. Freaking adorable. Yeah, they've been resting though. <laughs> you know, it's funny because like they have, they've been making all these plans and you know nothing about it. <laughs> I think that's their intention though. For some reason, it's like they want to surprise you. Maybe it's like a test to see how you, like, I don't know. I don't know. That's what I'm picking up from the fire signs. So they could be Aries, Leo or Sagittarius. This could also be the energy um, that they are coming at you with, you know, like very fiery, like kind of out of the blue, but kind of out, out of nowhere. Because that's very much, I feel that's how they're going to arrive. <laughs> you know, you might be left being like, well, hold, well, wait a minute, where have you been? Like, I haven't heard from you for so long. What else about Leo's person, please? Earth signs, there could be a fire sign or an earth sign. Earth is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Apologies, Leo, I got, um, I got a delivery and I have the most unpleasant buzzer, like, so I have to edit it out because it's honestly, it's like, God, I don't know, it's like the signal of the end of the world. It's just like, oh my God. Anyway, um, Earth sign, yeah, so Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but also, you know, they could, like, that could be how they're approaching you, because you do have this kind of combination of, like, wanting to protect you and look after you with the Earth sign element, being, like, very stable and grounded, for example, like, this person's a good saver, right? You know, they're, they're looking for commitment, um, but with Fire sign, like, they're very, they're coming in very sharp, you know, very to, you know, very passionately towards you. Um, but also, you know, it could be that this person identifies more with their rising sign, you know, which is something that I've come across quite a lot. Like a lot of people identify with their sun sign, but um, actually when you kind of probe a little bit more, they tend to be more like they're, they're rising. Or, you know, some people identify with their moon, but they could be a fire sign or an earth sign. What have you got here? Frank. So you have a straight shooter and you have Frank. So this per they're, they're really a lovely combination. You have brown eyes at the bottom of the deck, so they might have brown eyes. They're a really lovely combination. You know, it looks like they've taken some time out to rest and heal. Um, they have a, like a lot of emotions going on, but they're also very stable and grounded, but they're passionate too. You know, this person is very loving, you know, especially with that King of Cups coming out before, but you have kind, affectionate, loving, caring, protective, a little bit of sauciness here as well. So they just seem perfect, Leo. Um, and this person will catch you by surprise. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm going to leave it there, Leo. I hope you enjoyed the reading. It was a pleasure to read for you as always. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and lots of love.